What's up my friends, 915Mang here doing a video today, hope you guys are doing good. Looks like a lot of you guys are having fun in Orlando at that frag swap, I wish I could uh, make it out there. The closest thing that we have to a frag swap is uh, Albuquerque, is there any New Mexico reefers that are watching uh, my videos? Let me know about that frag swap, I know it's coming up. I might try to make it out there um, and go to that, I think that would be pretty cool, but uh, I'll let you know. For the meantime, the closest thing that I've gotten to uh, frags is uh, my LFS. And I picked this up uh, locally at uh, Sea Creatures, which is a Lobo. I really like the way that it looks, and this is going to be my first Lobo. I am going to go ahead and dip it and uh, super glue any uh, pests. I thought I saw a uh, an enemy on there, a little tiny one, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and super glue it and put this in my tank. I did see a little thing of Aptasia. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it, super glue it. Um, it's not really too big of a deal because I do have Aptasia in my tank already. But I'm going to super glue on top of it. I did inspect it at the uh, LFS. And I'm going to go ahead and dip it with some uh, Coral RX, the uh, concentrated type. I really would like to get a little bit more variety of Coral. Lobo's being on top of the uh, list. Um, this one came out with some pretty cool colors, and later on in the video, I'll show you the those colors. It's like a uh, rainbowish color, and um, also this super glue that I bought. I got it from the dollar store, and I got to tell you, it is uh, pretty good. I really like it. It comes with two little uh, things of glue per pack, and it's only a dollar, so you can't beat that. Many of you reefers already know. Once you super glue. Um, you got to use the super glue gel, and but once you add it to water, it'll help it cure a lot faster, um, which means it'll hold your coral in place the uh, right way because it's going to cure faster in water. Also on my tank, um, the I did lose another Anthea. The last video I told you it looked like he was a fighter and was going to make it, but I did lose it. I was blowing away a bunch of uh, that red slime. And with that red slime, I was using a turkey baster trying to get that red slime off of some of my corals. And that's when I found the uh, third anthea missing. And uh, another thing, uh, my powder brown um, kind of has, still has ick. Um, I noticed that he was rubbing against a rock. And you can see, if you see him uh, swimming in front of the camera, you can see the little spots. He does uh, swim a lot. He's very active. I've also been using that uh, garlic food and stuff like that. I don't have any ga concentrated garlic right now, but I am using the Cellcon when I feed. Um, and my Petco fish right here is uh, doing really good. He has gotten a lot bigger. Um, he's kind of a bully, and uh, but he doesn't really try to bother anybody else except for the uh, Antheas. Now, I did mention the Red Slime, as you can see, has totally gone away corals were not affected by it um, the reason I wanted to get rid of some of that cyano red slime is because it was covering my corals it was like a thick blanket and I used that chemiclean I did uh, 19 scoops which was one scoop per every 10 gallons and I did 19 scoops uh, to account for that and uh, I did this time I did turn off my skimmer but uh, my tank looks clean. Even the frag plugs and everything is looking clean. Um, and I did do a water change the very next day. Uh, the next morning, um, everything was pretty much gone. And uh, which which I'm glad because it was kind of a pain in the ass having all that uh, cyano covering up all my corals if you look back at uh, the last video. So now I'm pretty happy because all of my attention is trying to get my powder brown and back to good health and uh, try not to lose any more fish. I think at this point, trying to catch the powder brown and putting them back in the 20 gallon would be more harmful than good. So um, I'm not gonna do any freshwater dips, I'm not gonna medicate. I'm just gonna keep this guy fat, healthy, and uh, trying to eat as much as, I, as he can. Um, I have been feeding often. I'm only doing one cube of uh, brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, uh, a day. Um, that feeds my antheas, and then during the daytime I feed uh, pellets. Um, 
I use pellets and I did soak them in garlic before I actually dropped that uh, bottle all over my kitchen floor. I do want to go ahead and mention that I observed my uh, fire shrimp. All of the uh, fish go to the to the fire shrimp in its little cave and the fire shrimp will kind of clean them up. And it's kind of funny watching this because, you know, the fish know that the uh, fire shrimp will help clean them up from uh, any ick or whatever, parasites. Um, also, I'm thinking about getting a cleaner shrimp, but I'm trying not to uh, spend so much money on uh, corals and fish, but it's a good uh, possibility. If I go to the LFS and they have one, I am going to go ahead and uh, snatch one up. But either way, it's pretty cool watching the fire shrimp clean up the fish. I didn't know that fire shrimp did that. Um, I have a dark um, blood red looking fire shrimp. Um, I used to have a, two of each. I used to have two dark red fire shrimp. And then I used to have two cleaner shrimp. But uh, the only one of the shrimp survived. So that's why I haven't restocked them or anything like that. Now my zoas and my corals. Uh, they're all looking pretty good. You can kind of see coralline growing on the frag disc. Some of these uh, single head frags are starting to pop up two head frags. Um, and I'm looking forward to them growing out and filling out. Um, I have a whole different type of variety. But I just need them to go ahead and grow out and fill out and uh, do that. Um, I'll probably do like a nighttime video showing these the zoas and the reason why. I really like them, but these are agaves, and they look really good at night. Um, so, which is why they're easily one of my favorites once they start glowing, you know. But I want to know what you guys are picking up at these frag swaps. It looks like you can get a whole great deal of things there. I know I, if I was at a frag swap, I would be going after chalices and zoas, and I'd probably spend more money than I could afford. Speaking of frags, I did uh, list some frags on a, a Facebook forum and uh, you know I really had one person swing out and buy some which is pretty cool I did kind of make like a frag pack it was like uh, a red a green a Jedi mind trick a purple stylo and uh, one of them orange oxides and I listed it for a hundred bucks but uh, I haven't had any luck selling it I guess the way for me to sell corals is online um, if any of you guys are interested in selling buying some of my corals I'll probably make a frag pack and go from there it'd be my first time actually shipping and selling any corals online uh, and I think I could do it I do have the uh, some of the coolers and the boxes but uh, I don't know I'm thinking about doing something like that in the uh, future but anyways it's just a thought I want to go ahead and show you some of the uh, newest corals that I've got I got these from uh, Reefer's Garage, and uh, it was just some random uh, SPS order. I went half with uh, my buddy, and uh, here they are. They're still alive, not dead. Um, this one is doing still doing pretty good. Uh, it looks like it's encrusting over the plug already, and that's pretty cool. Uh, the color on it is kind of like a reddish green, and then um, I got some more over here. You can see the polyp extensions are out, which is cool. Um, I'm, always, I'm always happy that uh, I didn't kill my uh, sticks, you know. I'm not an SPS master like some of you guys. I've seen a lot of you guys with some awesome tanks. And uh, I'm going to try to put a link to some of the their tanks. They have, like, hardly any subscribers. But, they're, man, their tanks are awesome. And I'll be glad to put out their videos out there so you can uh, check it out yourselves. Also, I want to go ahead and showcase my purple stylo. This thing has done good no matter how my tank is. Started off with like a little tiny frag. Picked it up from a cultivated reef. And uh, it was like a little tiny. It wasn't like a real tiny frag, but it wasn't like a giant colony like it is now. And it's just taken off. I would like to get some pink stylo. And I think there's even like a rainbow stylo out there. Uh, because... Hey, I can grow stylos pretty good in my tank. Um, I think the stylos probably like a little bit of dirty water because I know my tank isn't uh, pristine at all. I know I'm not keeping my phosphates all the way down or anything like that. In fact, I'm using uh, zero GFO, but uh, I am maybe going to use it later on in the future. I have, I have a whole bunch 
of the GFO from Paul. When uh, he broke down his tank, he gave me uh, some of that. Also, this uh, Digi right here I got from D. Uh, D still running his 300-gallon tank. Um, helped him out a little bit over the weekend because uh, he was actually in the field. But uh, we'll give you an update on his tank later on, or he'll put a video out. And, of course, my Zoas are out here doing good. I got a little frag from this from the LFS. It was about 30-something bucks, but uh, it's doing good. And I do have a little bit of uh, colony starting to take off. Um, I think these are the blind, blind mind-blowing pallies. I got tubs, blues, um, some cool little things right here. Really like to get some uh, gorilla nipples going on. And uh, I used to have some when I first started off, but uh, it just died. You know how things go. Uh, you have stuff doing really good, and then it dies. Um, these ones are right here are pretty cool. They're pink, and uh, they're starting to take off really nicely on the floor. So other than the uh, ick issue, my corals are doing pretty good. Now that I got rid of that uh, cyanobacteria, um, thanks to that Chemi Pure, or Chemi Clean, um, my tank is looking a lot better. Even the frag plugs look uh, better. And uh, one thing I need to add is some uh, filter socks. I'm not using any filter socks in my tank right now. And uh, that's just because I got rid of the socks. And But I am looking at getting some new socks. What I am doing for right now for my tank is I have a bunch of uh, filter floss. And I have it next to the drains in my sump. Uh, it looks kind of a uh, cockroach, um, but I just get it, gather it up, pit it out there next to the drains, wait a week, and I just pick it out and throw it away, put some more filter floss, and other than that, it looks comes out pretty good. Um, here's a top-down view of my tank. It's one of my favorites. I do need a stepladder to do this because my tank is uh, pretty much at eye level. Well, above eye level, actually. Um, so I do need a step ladder to do that. Um, as you can see, my T5s are on. I have the ATI Blue Plus, and I have a Coral Plus um, running right now. And I have it running from 10 o'clock to about 2.30. 2.30, 3 o'clock, I don't really uh, remember. But as you can see, the Zoas seem to be doing pretty good. And everything else is doing pretty good, too. Like I said, I think hybrid lighting is the way to go. I know a lot of you can show me your tanks without it, and your tanks look awesome. But for me, I like the uh, T5s on. It's only two bulbs, so it's not too bad. It's not like a big deal when it's like time to change bulbs. Um, but it's under 100 bucks. And this is like the little frag rack that I had. Everything on the black frag rack from... Um, Blue Tide Acrylics was what I was selling for 100 bucks. Big chunk of uh, red Montipora, green Montipora, Jetta Mind Trick, purple Stylo, and uh, orange Oxide was what I was selling for 100 bucks. Maybe I'll get lucky and sell it. If not, no big deal. I do want to go ahead and show off this uh, Lobo that I picked up from my LFS. And I think it has some pretty cool color to it. It looks like a rainbowish color. And uh, I have it up here and hopefully it grows some more heads. And just fills up this whole area. It looks really nice. Um, also in the background you can see the uh, green Montipora. I had broke it off because it was shading the uh, purple stylo. But anyways guys, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Like, take care, and uh, subscribe. Have a good one guys. <laughs>